Oh yeah, the best flashlight. So let's see, town is right there. Wait. They are doing this right, I could go and level with them. Mm, that's totally my plan. But first let me beat up this dog. Okay, you know what, no. I'm not doing this. I just love the evasion effect. It's so much better. See? I'm not taking any damage. Any at all. That's the problem with this class. One of them is a total loser. And he can do nothing about it because he just is that, a total loser. It's going to be easy again. See? That was easy. Why? Because the class is actually good. Hey, bunny. Oh, something for my class. Wait. Yes. Boots. see all of this. Um, I thought about creating my own RPG in a cube worldish fashion. Just to see if I could do this kind of like programming challenge. Problem is my character model doesn't look that appealing. But that's not the point of this um, RPG. To be appealing, it's more a technical demo of what my skills are. And I'm good to go at the moment. Which I hope this stays like. The oh, I found a common iron dagger. It's power 14, damn it. Hmm. Actually, that's good. So I get one that's stronger than this one. Hey, you, Terrier. Hello. I can't see him anymore. Okay. Yeah, and... I wondered if I would create different models and simply replace um, different elements of the body like I would model different bodies which are virtually the same but look different or if I would simply recolor them again and again and again Both are interesting ways of achieving well not the same in a way I shouldn't be dying. That's general good advice, don't die, but well, yeah, sometimes that doesn't work. And I'm doing it with the Unity engine, because Unity engine has, is a great engine, first of all. And it's free. Basically, I know a lot of people use Unreal Engine, but the problem with Unreal Engine is Unreal Engine is not 
capable of doing mobile. I guess. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I guess Unreal Engine is not really capable of doing mobile games. Which I think is a bummer. Mm -hmm. So I thought a lot about this and I really want to make this RPG, the problem is it's not going to be directly an RPG, it's gonna be more that hack and slash approach Cube World is taking. They all evaded me. I killed it. No! The loot. Ah. But I'm near the town now. So I guess it's alright. Those buttons are really close together. They shouldn't be. So, again. Hack and slay or... RPGs are really hard, which doesn't make it easy as a challenge for me. I'm not saying I want it to be easy, but there are series on YouTube which do 400 parts on it, just so you get a perspective. Okay, 100, 400 parts of... 30 minute episodes put this into perspective still those guys know what they are doing and they actually have a plan on what they are doing they just repeating all the steps they might have scripted else they need a lot longer and they create a perfectly um, assembled game which I think is something I want to come up with perfectly assembled game which looks polished and stuff and I'm not saying perfect perfection is like this one but I want to get something that's near that I still wonder if I want to create a procedural map or a huge constructed map, which both would be an interesting approach to it. So, you know, like having a huge world with established mountain ranges and stuff like that, that's for mages. Unfortunately, I got something for me. This is better. Okay, let's see. If I can buy some other stuff from the armor guy, and then I buy I will use the rest for potions. Do you have something for me? Yes! Um, I can use this. As you can see, there's not much to it than this. So, I got some good gear. How much? Wrong. Three silver. Give me bottles. Oh, I can tame myself cat. Cats are good. Technically every animal except turtles are good because turtles are way over the top 
boss. Because turtles are tanks and you always need a tank. Except you're the tank then you need something that heals you like a spitter. Okay, let's find a cat. Cats. Come on. Give me that. I will totally split this up into multiple parts on YouTube, but I will probably upload this whole thing as one on Twitch. Anything I fear is the fact that I'm gonna appeal, 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 whatever, the copyrighted audio. Damn it. I just wanted to look for cat. Yeah, I'm still gonna look out for cat because cats usually are around the city. Or they tend to be more around on the city. Oh, hey, look. Okay, I'm gonna pull you away a little. Now I'm gonna attack. See? Efficient. Very efficient. Nope. He has a mild advantage of me. What? How? Okay. Some of them are really superior. Really superior to me. But ranks are bugged in a way. I'm not saying it's all the bugs, it's also my fault. But what should I do if the enemy simply drains all my life in just three seconds? I think that's supposed to be a thing. Okay, he does a lot of damage. Yeah, okay, I shouldn't be attacking him. You got me. Alright. If I had a face cam, I wouldn't be looking happy now. And you would probably see me eating. Which is another reason why I don't have a webcam. I eat on streams. Thanks guys. Wait. One platinum coin. Unfortunately, that means nothing, because platinum coins are their own separate thing. Hmm. Sometimes you don't get what you expect. For example, a cat. Are there no cats around? No matter what can you find, the animal to tame is not in range no matter which animal that is if you got bubblegum no collie around if you got candy no cat around this is really a stupid law in this game I mean it's not like a law it's an unwritten law Only those darn sheep everywhere. Then when you finally get a cat, it's killed right in front of your eyes. Oh, those are bad witches. Die, bad witches. I 
I want to kill one of them. I seriously wait for the update because then those witches get nerfed in a more serious fashion. I mean, they get basically destroyed. <laughs> 